Turn on the AC. It's Angel Caruso. Congratulations, old buddy. You're going to go down in history as the man who killed Superman. Um. Hello and welcome back. Now, I love Christopher Reeve as Superman. I always have done since being a kid. It's one of my earliest memories. It's one of the best experiences. I'll never forget the time that my dad showed me these films. I adored them and he tried his best to bootleg them so I could have all four of them because we lived in a different country and it was not easy to just pick up these films. So on the playground I would be at school imagining telling people about Superman, they'd have watched it as well and you know the first one, wow what an epic film, Richard Donner brings an amazing portrayal of both Clark and Superman. That's the essential part. No other incarnation of Superman has been as good as Christopher Reeve's difference between Clark and Superman. Like you take Tom Welling in Smallville, for instance. It's a great show, but he plays no difference. But he's he doesn't know that he has to pretend to be a nerd, I guess. But there is no excuse for it in Man of Steel. They just put a pair of glasses on him and just do the suspend for disbelief thing. And I don't like that. What does interest me is that James Gunn is now going ahead with his Superman and he's trying to change it up a little bit by ruffling up his hair and making him look different. No one's ever tried that since the dweeby Christopher Reeve. I mean, why would anyone want to make a total stranger look like a fool? Loving these films is not enough. Like, I have a dislike for Superman 3. Enough for me to go and get my time machine. So I went back to 1996 and plucked Juliet Lewis straight from the set of From Dust Till Dawn. Richard, would you do me a favor and for me, please? Where are you taking us? And ask her, does she want to join me, Angel Caruso? In Superman 3, she said, what do you mean? I said, get in my time machine, let's go back to 1983. I'm gonna play Superman, you're gonna play Lana Lang. Together, we are going to change the course of history. So this is what we did. Somebody turn up the AC, cause Angel Caruso's arrived. Get your ass sat down. I just, I wanted to do it. And... Hey, don't be nervous. So what does a girl like you, Lana, do in her spare time? I... Let's see... I... Spend time with my family. Boring, watch this. The only way I could get Juliet Lewis on board was if I completely changed the script mm -hmm. for Superman 3. You no, know, I'm not satisfied yet, which is really good because it makes me try harder. But the only way she would play a part in this is if she played Lana her own way and had her own powers that came out of her eyes. Caruso. So I went back to 1983 and I went to the Salkinds and and I showed them a copy of Superman 3 and how much profit it was going to bring them because these two were the greediest studio producers of the 80s. I saw what they did with the first and the second one so I showed them that if they went with this route of taking Richard Pryor and getting rid of Gene Hackman and all of these things that we loved about the first two that it was going to be a disaster. And then being greedy they snapped me up and chose Angel Caruso to play Superman. So I had to go in and fire Christopher Reeve and explain to him that this film is not going to work for you and we don't want you back because I'm the new Superman. So I had to go to the gym, an 80s gym. You have the physique of a man half your age. What's the secret? Caruso. After I was staring at all the women in the gym and looking at all this spandex and lycra, which was brand new, I decided to work out and build myself up because I was going to be playing the Man of Steel, but this time 
it was going to be better. It was going to be better than Val Kilmer coming into Batman Forever. It was going to be the new seed of Superman. They were convinced. I pitched the idea and they loved it. Juliet, however, was dubious. I said to her, if you star in this with me, we are going to make this a huge success. Your acting chops, my good looks, together Angel Caruso and Juliet Lewis can bring Superman back to the big screen with a bang. And boy did we do that. I think you need to be more careful, don't you? You need to look after your kids better. Just saying. Thank you. Oh, oh, I'm Lana Lang and this is Ricky. Do you have a boyfriend? And this is Clark. Okay, I best be going. Right, okay, nice to meet you all. Thank you. Bye bye. Hey, So the moral of this story is, if you don't like a film from the past, then go back to the past and change it, star in it, be in it, become the film. And I'm just gonna leave that one there. Turn on the AC, it's Angel Caruso.